Okay, fellas, let's just give this one a try. Everybody ready? We're both on strike for a bunch of cookies. Yoo-hoo! Ah, uh, three strikes and you're out. Hello there, Sister Lorraine. We're just warming up for Pastor Billy Bob's special missionary report on Cowboy Church as soon as he gets back. He done went down to Mexico to explore that missionary position down there he's been talking about. Well, it looks like he done tried it on for size. Here, listen to this singing telegram he done sent me on my smarty pants cell phone answering machine. I think he's in big trouble with the federales down there. Huh? What happened? Well, just listen and you'll see. Apparently he bribed some guard to let him send this out. Don't know where he got the banjo, though given the fact that when he was on the road, he was always a drummer. Yeah, well, I think that's what he was selling back in Cleaner Sister Lorraine. Anyway, let's hear it. Okay, here goes. Sister Lorraine, this is the pastor. I'm in deep trouble. You've got to do something for me. I left y'all about a week ago to do some outreach preaching down in Mexico. I sermonized in a nudist cantina. Holy, both for all her rotches and some bottles, with nothing in between. Some lady knocked me off my soapbox and uh, stole all my clothes. She left me both naked from my head to my toes. It was just at that moment that a whistle blew. Signs was waiting, Lord and I was too. Up drove the federalists who arrested me on a charge of public indecency. So here I am in the team on a jail. Ain't got no friends to go my bail. So here I stay. Cause I can't pay Do something right away You gotta send the money over To the Tijuana jail Today Just 500 pesos And they'll set me free But I can't raise a centavo You gotta rescue me There is a big bad hombre In my cell who's gigantic And y'all better hurry Cause it's feeling romantic Then well I sit In the Tijuana jail There's no one here To go on my bail So here I stay I can't pay I just can pray That you'll send money without fail To the Tijuana jail Yeah here I am In the Tijuana jail Hmm, don't like the sound of that. This could set off an international incident. Them hermanos down there ain't all that happy with us gringo tourists just now, given the government's decision not to let them go hiking anymore in the Borrego Desert on their way to Disneyland. Maybe it's on the news. Here, let me turn on the radio. Oh, here's a special news bulletin coming in now. Hello everyone, this is your Action News reporter with all the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket here in downtown El Paso. There seems to have been some disturbance caused by a gringo escapee from the jail just over the border. Pardon me sir, did you see what happened? Yeah, yeah, I did. I was standing right over there by the tomatoes and here he come, running through the pole beans, through the fruits and vegetables. He was naked as a jaybird. Then he ran through the jams and preserves. And I hollered at Ethel, I said, Ethel, don't look! But she dropped a whole jar of kumquats and landed cedar down in a basket of cucumbers. I started yelling, here he comes, look at that, look at that. There he goes, look at that, look at that. 
And he ain't wearing no clothes Oh yeah, they call him the speaking preacher And look at that That's his thing on two feet Yeah, look at that He's just as proud as can be Of his anatomy He's gonna give us a peek Oh yeah, they call him streaking preacher Look at that, look at that He likes to show off his physique Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. There's an audience to be found, he'll be streaking around, inviting public critique. This is your Action News reporter once again, and we're here at the gas station. Pardon me, sir. Did you see what happened? Yeah, yes, I did. I was just in here getting my car checked. He just appeared out of the traffic, come streaking around a grease rack there, didn't have nothing on but a smile. I looked in there and Ethel was getting herself a cold drink. I hollered, don't look, Ethel! But it was too late. She'd already been mooned. Flashed her right there in front of the shock absorbers. <laughs> he ain't crude. He ain't crude. He's just in the mood to run nude. Oh, yes, they call him the freaking preacher. He likes to turn the other cheek here. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. He's always making the news, wearing just tennis shoes while he's beating feet. Once again, your Action News reporter in the high school gym now, covering the disturbance at the basketball playoff. Pardon me, sir, did you see what happened? Yes, I did. Half time, I was just going down to get Ethel a snow cone at the snack bar, and here he comes, right out of the cheap seats, dribbling right down the middle of the court. Didn't have nothing on but his PF flyers. Took a hook shot and got out through the concession stand. I hollered up at Ethel, don't look, Ethel, but it was too late. She'd already gotten a free shot, grandstanding right there in front of the home team. Oh yeah, they call him the streaking preacher. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. The fastest thing on two feet, Neil. Look at that, look at that. He's just as bad as can be. Oh, his anatomy, he's gonna give us a peek. Here he comes, here he comes. He call him the streaking preacher. Look at that. The fastest thing on two feet. Look at that, look at that. He's just as bad as can be. Of his anatomy and gonna give us a peek. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Citizens are advised to be on the lookout for a big, fat, naked. We interrupt this program to bring you an important announcement. Police advise that the ever tightening dragnet cast to snare the escaped prisoner from the Tijuana jail has determined that the fugitive stole a kitchen apron from a clothesline in Mexicali. That is all. Hmm, you know, I wonder what that last word that got out of uh, the pastor's singing telegram phone message was. Was the pastor worried about his conversation being taped, maybe? Well, after all, he was speaking the Lord's English, which them Spanish speakers probably couldn't say me anyway, so otherwise. Well, what alarms me is the suggestion that Billy Bob might try to escape. And police officers, or whatever they call peace officers down there, keep that peace with submachine guns. And with his grasp of Spanish, I doubt the pastor could so much as ask for a baño. Well, I, I understand that they don't pronounce the J down there. I wonder where he got that banjo. Not banjo, Sister Lorraine. Banjo. That's Spanish for haven of rest. Well, there's also one other factor that might make escape difficult. What's that? Well, presumably, he was issued prison duds. But if so, we'll have to ditch them. If not, well, either way, all he'll be wearing is his police company annual suit. His what? His birthday suit. That's Spanish. For birthday. He was naked when he got hooked up by the cops at that liquor joint, remember? Oh, yeah. And what would a working guy want with pastor's pants? Um, that's where Billy Bob generally carries his wallet. Maybe that girl wanted him to pay for, um, his cantina bill. Anyway, we gotta do something. Here, why don't you go get over to sell man? Maybe we can get him to run into town for a postal money order and ask the post office lady for the address to his tier one in jail. Well, that would be Mildred. I don't know why on earth folks bother to even send private mail here in Waco, Texas. Mildred knows everybody's business by just reading the return addresses, indicating where them 
plain brown wrapper packages come from. Yeah, and then her imagination fills in all the juicy details. Well, it's neither here nor there because I think we figured out from that news broadcast that the pastor done escaped already. No need to be paying no bail now. So, what's all that commotion outside? Oh, I think my dog, Father, the faith healer, is barking up a storm and chasing somebody. Poor nation, Sister Lorraine. That damn dog of yours just tried to bite off my... Oh, Pastor, you're he here. tried to masticate me after he done knocked me down. Oh, that was probably just him exercising his gift, Pastor. Gift? Well, the man on the pause for healing. He is a faith healer, you know. <laughs> Either that or he found you attractive, Pastor. That is a fetching pinafore you're wearing. <clears throat> Did uh, something happen down in that jail we ought to know about? No, oh, see here. What happens in Tijuana? Yeah, we know. Stays in Tijuana. Yo, ho, Senor Gringo. I am here. You left prematurely. So I have followed you all this way. Lord, save me. It's the bone crusher. Did you take the suppository I gave you? Come to me, Poopsie. I love you, I love you, I love you, and where you go I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow, I will follow you, follow you wherever you may go, there is an ocean too deep, a mountain so high it can keep, keep me away. I must follow you, follow him, follow him. Ever since you touched my hand, I knew. Yes, I knew, yes, I knew. That near you I always must be. And nothing can keep you from me. You are my destiny. I love you, I love you, I love you. And where you go, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. You'll always be my true love, my true love, my true love. From now until forever, forever, forever. I will follow you. Carmelita. Carmelita? Bone Crusher's a woman? Well, in a manner of speaking, she seems to get a lot of respect from the other prisoners over her being the foreman of the rock pile. Hmm, maybe that's why they call her the pile driver. Well, what I want to know is, what are we going to tell the listening public about our pastor being stuck in the Tijuana jail? Um, how many times did you get stuck? 